How everyone? I'm Mr. Emerson. Today we are look we are going to look at the HKDSG sample paper, uh, mathematics compulsory part paper one session B question fifteen. Please with this message, as this is the foundation of the whole series of this video. If you have enough time, then we can go on. Otherwise, please pause this video. Okay. Uh, for question fifteen, this is talking about number of seats. Uh, the first row we have twelve seats, and the second row we have twelve plus three, and the first row we have twelve plus three plus three. So this is obviously talking about a uh, series, or should I say, arithmetic series. So for your uh, logic structure. I hope whenever we talk about series, you can call out this uh, two sets of formulas. As this question is talking about arithmetic sequence, or should I say arithmetic series, so we first uh, just look at the formulas of AS. Okay, uh, in AS, the general time formula is in here, and the summation formula is right under. And I would like to in, uh, talk about a little bit here. L actually is the last term of the arithmetic sequence. As this is a last term, or the other term, always can be generated by the general term. So I just replace L with the a plus m minus 1 times t here to have the second summation equation in here. And uh, as I say, the question uh, restricted the number of seats cannot be more than three thirties. So it is obviously talking about e uh, inequality. Because uh, not just n one number is less than 930. 900 is less than 930. 100 is less than 930. So we are talking about a range of number. Whenever we talk about a range of a number, then it is talking about inequalities. And you will see that uh, after some uh, substitution and simplification, we end up with the quadratic inequality. How do we solve quadratic inequalities? Uh, for me, I always use a graphical method. As you can see in here, as the coefficient of n square is equal to 1, which is bigger than 0. So the parabola is opening upward. These two intercepts can be found by quadratic formula. I'm not talking about here. I just concentrate how to solve this quadratic inequality. As this function is less than 0, which part do we need to concentrate on? The upper part? No. The upper part, every one of the uh, quadratic function is bigger than 0. As we can see, the positive y-axis in, is in here. Then we turn our attention to the negative y-axis in here. So we, uh, in the lower part of this graph, or lower graph of this parabola, you will find that every single value of Sn is less than 0. So we can find the range of n, which is between minus 28 something and plus 21 something. Of course, we can use the quadratic formula to find out this two value too. And let me remind you n is our natural number. So n should be counted from 1, and n must be a positive integer. So the final answer should be the greatest number of rows is 21. OK, we uh, conclude the question in here. And let's just look a little bit of the GS, the geometric um, series or geometric sequence. OK. A uh, Tn is the general term I'm not talking about here, and the Sn is the summation of this uh, geometric series. And I just want to talk about the ratio. If a ratio is between minus 1 and 1, let's say it is 
0 0.9. If you put 0 0.9 into your calculator uh, to the power of 1000, you will see a small number. 2000, yes, of course, a much, much, much smaller number. Uh, what about 3000? Yes, this time you may see a zero in your calculator. But why? Because when we t uh, have 3000 uh, 0.9 times together, the product is close enough to zero because this is so small and then it needs to zero, approximates to zero. So in this case, Sn becomes zero. Then one minus zero is one, one times a is a. That's why we have infinite series summation in here. Okay, this video is finished. If you have any problem, you may send a photo of the problem to me and I will write down a solution and send you back the photo, uh, solution photo. So goodbye everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.